Because of late 60s. Morrissey was feeling obliged to, not feeling obliged to smother me with kisses, just that I, I believed I liked her probably a, a lot more than she liked me. But I remember leaping off my little black scooter. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. And we stopped six blocks from her place up on the parkway. So her mom would not see her on a motorcycle. Send that. And I have the lovely, the lovely Marcy of my dreams. <coughs> All right, part way home. Now I felt the biggest, grandest moment of my life was going to happen. I was going to kiss her. It was now or never. I'm not saying the kiss was planned or anything. I just pulled up the curb. We popped off the Honda. I pulled off my helmet. And for some reason felt this was the time to show darling strawberry blonde, all hips and curves, Marcy, how I felt about it. She stood on the curb ready to part. I puckered up and approached the dear girl's lips, which were now moving violently around a gob, gob, a big doo gob. Closer and closer we came together, like there was going to be a train wreck. I felt scared, but sure I was going to see stars and feel more love than a simple boy's heart could imagine. Somehow, our kids was more of a tight lip resistant thing. The timid hug was there. <laughs> and that unmistakable odor of juicy boot bubble gum. But love? <laughs> no. <laughs> For me, the entire collision felt one sided. All the way down, nothing coming back. Less than memorable, yet very memorable. My first kiss. <laughs> great. <laughs> That's awesome. That's great.